on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. As yes, Izuku and Balgo are talking, it's about the time when the police and some heroes show up. Remember, Izuku put on quite the scene when it came to him trying to get his ghost back. In which, uh, it's not looking too good. Those boys are barely clinging to life. So Izuku gets sent to the police station. Inko's worried, rightfully so, while Bakugo's trying to explain how things went down. Pretty much like, yeah, he didn't mean for any of this to happen. He just got overly angry. They won't stop messing with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His quirk awakens. That definitely helps. What? He usually awakened his quirk. Actually saved his life. Really? As, yeah. When the boys actually wake up, they tell a completely different story. Of how that ghost is actually theirs that Izuku was trying to steal from them. Only problem is, with people, at least them trying to lie, the ghost can talk. And yes, it can uh, definitely let me know like I do not belong to these any of these boys except for that one, just hovering towards Izuku. So yes, though Izuku gets in trouble for causing not only massive property damage as well as putting the boys in the hospital, the boys get in trouble too, but mainly for lying to authorities, which believe me. Is a stupid thing. Yes, I, I, I am not gonna risk getting flag, getting flack for uh, condoning lying to the authorities. It is not something you should do. It is stupid. And if you get caught, there will be heavy repercussions. Don't ask me how I know that. <clears throat> and yeah. The whole fact that they were actually stealing from him, that's another charge. <laughs> Though they don't go to jail or prison, but the Yeah The parents are really pleased and they're sent to a juvenile detention facility. All in all, yeah, they fucked up. While Izuku and Bago are trying to rekindle what friendship they could possibly have left. Which, uh, it's rocky, to say the least. If anything, Izuku, he's more interested on how he can actually increase the power of his huh, newly acquired fire breathing, somewhat. As well as, wait, so all that you did. It's like, yeah, I don't even know how... Uh, much more powerful my quirk can get. Goes like, oh, so you're lying to him just to keep him safe. Shut up! I'm sorry. Wait, you're lying? It's like, no, no, it's just my quirk is weird. And this thing is somewhat buggy. Oh, the audacity. I am functioning highly beyond basic parameters. Wait, what do you say? I mean, he's trying to say that he's working fine and that I am just being a jerk. Oh. Huh. As yeah, they're going on and on about this. The whole thing with Bago being a downright jerk is gone. Because not only is Izuku showing how powerful his quirk is, uh, as well as them trying to be friends again, the whole fact that how Izuku died using air quotes because you and saying it's because you can't uh, see them yourself. Yeah, that pretty much traumatizes Bago highly. 
And this carries on up until when they turn 13. Where Izuku is still trying to convince Balgo to use his quirk. Not on him, but in general. But again, after all that, he's just terrified. He's seen what his quirk can do once it's more or less used the wrong way with someone who is a lot more powerful. So he's worried about what he could do by accident seeing the remains of what was Izuku. But this is when something happens. Yeah. This is when he, he knows something doesn't feel right. Ghost has been constantly scanning the area, but then he knows his danger. As yes, out fr from the ocean, as they are at Dagobah Beach, I guess one of the best places to actually use his quirk, as well as Bakugo. Yeah, Muscular shows back up. And he is beyond happy. We're a mixture of festivity. I thought I killed you. Looks like I get a rematch. Uh, yeah, Bogo gets flashbacks of how Muscular's quirk just launched at him, which, yes, it was his muscle fibers, and seemingly copied his quirk. Making it so muscular can not only use it, but it's also been enhanced to fit muscular's huh, experience as well as ability to use it. So, yeah, Izuku and Bakugo are terrified. Bakugo more than anyone, because he thinks, oh my god, he's going to try to steal my quirk again. I got to run me, Izuku. But... Izuku, he's... Huh. A rematch. So be it. Boko and Muscular just look back at him. Little... Excuse me? Izuku, he's just... Come on. So. Even the ghost is like, this is not a good decision. You don't even have your guns yet. Or your armor. The, uh, guns? Armor? Wait, he has? Uh, I mean, not that weird toy. Maybe I'll keep it as a trophy instead of you. Izuku looking up at Muscular, seeing his smile, it starts to piss him off. So as soon as Muscular starts to try to eat Izuku, he jumps out of the way and shoots fire. Literally, that's what, that's what he's doing to Muscular. Muscular just using his muscle fibers to block him, though yes, it protects him. Those things are still a part of him, so yeah, they burn. Oh, do they burn. Muscular just getting more and more pissed off, going to more berserk estate. Until he looks back and remembers, I'm going to need to borrow your quirk again. His <laughs> most fibers shooting out of the tendrils and latching onto Bakugo. Getting... <laughs> Uh, imprint of his quirk, and huh, here comes the sparks again. Mago think he's gonna see Izuku die again. Just curls up into a ball and, and begs for anyone to come save them. While Izuku, he's getting flashes of literally when he died. Yeah, it wasn't as quick as he would have preferred he stayed alive for at least one or two seconds and believe me they were agonizing muscular just taking the chance to grab onto him and start exploding him in between his arms 
which hurts. But as soon as he just goes for the kill shot, as soon as he does it, yes, Izuku is in pieces again. Bakugo, even more traumatized. But this is when his ghost just starts, just like, oh dear, here. Ugh, this is the second time I had to revive you. Izuku, back from dead, again. Bakugo, muscular, what the fuck just happened? But hearing that, like, revive you again? Bakugo starts like, wait, what does he mean by muscular grabbing ghosts? So you're the reason he's still alive. Trying to break it, trying to crack it, but no. It takes a massive amount of power to actually break a ghost, or at least make it inoperable. Lucky for Izuku, definitely. So upon him finally waking up, he's like, oh, okay. Oh, now I feel a lot better. Him saying that his ghost is in trouble, hmm. well, seemingly in trouble. He goes in, not for a kill shot, but he incapacitates his ass. Well, I mean, Izuku does one of them one of the most normal things to do in an actual fight. He goes for the nuts. I don't care what anyone says. In a real fight, there are no rules. You can kick, bite, scratch. You, heck, I told my nieces, you better go for the genitals. I don't care who this motherfucker is, you better go for him. I even... Oh, memories. I'm. Uh, <laughs> yes. Muscular is beyond pissed as he lets go the ghost, but Izuku going like, So you thought you were going to take him as a souvenir? Muscular is on one knee. Izuku is, let's say, right now at shoulder level. He grabs onto it. You're gonna take my friend away. I might as well take something precious away from you. Muscular doesn't look angry. He just looks scared because right now he is completely defenseless. You see you opening his mouth and spitting fire right in Muscular's face. Muscular. Pimp slapping him far away, but you can hear him scream, his eye, his eye. That's the next time he opens it, it's gone. The, the, there, it, his eye is completely unusable. His death procession is gone. Bakugo still there, still living. Both accounts of Izuku dying while he had to watch. Yeah, he's still stunned. He's, he knows what happened, but he's just too scared to move. After seeing that, seeing how his quirk killed his best friend again, just for him to come back? What? Really? As soon as Izuku shows back up, he sees that Muscular has retreated. Him feeling. <sighs> Wait, why did I say that? It seems as though your brutality has elevated. Really? Is that a good thing? Well, when it comes to enemies, perhaps. Except it's not good to be very arrogant during battle. Though, yes, I can revive you. It's not something I recommend. Just because you can come back to life does not mean you should make it make a habit of sacrificing yourself. Unless it is completely and totally unavoidable and necessary. Oh. 
Okay. And just because I can come back doesn't mean I should make a habit of getting myself killed. Correct. Is <sighs> yeah, he's looking at Bakugo and he's. Oh man. This, this is really affecting him. Well, he has had to watch his friend die twice now, so I will assume that would have some effect on certain individuals. And yeah, this is when they go to the police. He say what happened. Them a little bit reprimanding Yuzuku for using his quirk, but congratulating him on being able to fight off the villain that killed him. Bakugo goes to therapy. Yuzuku visits him whenever he can, but it's still the fact that watching someone die like that in pieces from someone who looks super similar to you, like an older version, using your quirk. Yeah, that would do some things to you, wouldn't it? But once he's finally released, they clear him, they say, okay, okay. He's 14 by this point. So is Izuku. He's... Okay, okay. So let's talk about you being revived twice by that. What? I heard it say that it revived you. That's not your quirk, is it? Well, I... I gotta show you something. What? Please. Are you gonna die again? Possibly. And as long as you have this thing, it, it can bring you back. Yes. Well, technically there are some uh, circumstances in which I may be not to revive him. What? Oh, d don't worry. It, especially considering our uh, new... Equipment. What? What? Wait, Yusuke, what was you talking about? <sighs> well, I already have my hero gear ready. What? Um. Okay. Uh. Come with me. As yes, this is Digiba Beach. And, yeah, Gosky's pretty much like, okay, so what are we doing here? It's like, you know how I, uh, obtained ownership of this place? Yeah, so what? As he just pushes a button, and on the side of the s steps, a passage opens up to an elevator. Izuku just walking into it, Bongo, like, what the hell is this? And like, just trust me. As they go down, there are several levels. One for power, one for food and whatnot. Uh, which Zuku doesn't really need to eat as as much, but uh, heck, dorms and what him pretty much like what the hell? Until then, they come to the armory. Bakugo is beyond shocked at this. He's wondering, how did you do this? What? How could no one notice this going on? Is Well, when it came to construction, Japan is known for its earthquakes. I just 
started constructing around that. Or at least making it so they believed it was one. As he sees the guns, he's like, have you used these before? Yes. But how would you make all this? Uh, I think I should talk to you about this interesting material called Glimmer. <laughs> 